here's the test on my page. So on my Facebook profile, I'm going to try to delete my January post. I just did 19 hours ago, various shares, uh, photo tags. I posted this of a video to uh, increasing your privacy with Signal. Um, a lot of shares, but then I upload a video. And these things, all these weekend plans and various funny things and love my moment, January 13th. So I'm going to try to delete this now, not with the iPad app. You got to use the mobile Facebook app. Okay, let's do it now and see. We'll run it and then we'll come back and see if it works. And this is January 20th, 2021. So everyone asked me for an updated how to delete Facebook posts. You can't batch delete them exactly. So let's let's see if this works and we'll come back and review the page. Okay, the first thing we got to do is go to our Facebook page, our profile, not our business profile, but our personal profile. And once here, you, you're on the page here, and this is the latest look. I'm on an iPhone 12 Pro. See these three dots right here? You click those. In this area, you're going to go to activity log, fourth item down. In here now is where the magic happens. As you can read, this is what shows your activity, posts, things you've created. And you can manage all this activity here, including saving posts that we don't want. Isn't that going to like include saving posts you no longer want? That, that's like reverse. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Or moving posts to the trash. And they, they will be deleted after 30 days. So you got to wait for that. But let's let's do this so up at the top here um first i'm going to filter it okay you can filter it by date i'm going to do try to do the closest thing to batch so start date you go you go back go back and they only allow it like a month it seems so i'm just going to do that go done i'm just doing this test right now and all the way to the 20th which is today i'm going to go done i'm going to say done okay so now supposedly it's got them all okay that's the the range now i'm going to manage the activity all my posts, okay, and see if it overrode that. And we're waiting, waiting. So it's there, but now, so let's see, does it have it all to the first? So I guess you gotta keep going. So it didn't, and look at that, look at the lag. I'm gonna make you just, okay, so I've got all of these. So can I now just go all, Loading items. I just click that all button there. Items loading. Nothing selecting and do it again. Okay. So I'm going to go down. It looks like 70 items. 70 items have been selected. Okay. To December 18th. That's pretty cool. Let's see what happens if it loads in. If we wait a second, would it continue? No. Okay. So I'm okay to that. Now let's see the moment of truth. If we can trash them, okay, bottom right button here, boom, and they'll be deleted, move to trash. So it's a little bit of a work. Like if you've been on Facebook like me for a long time, okay, December 17th. Okay, so all the way back to then, they've wiped it out. So now let's go back to our main page and remember, pull down and it updates and see if things are gone one day ago. So tagged things, January 13th, still there. January 11th, still there. Still things. So these, I guess, maybe because there's a differential from posts to cover photos. So cover photos being updated, cover photos being updated are different. And um, sharing items are not posts they don't look at. So, so there's still going to be a clean, but yep, it really did. Um, so now we'll go look at it on the iPad to, to double check. Okay, let's see what changed after we ran it. My post gone. Oh, yeah, post gone. Oh, yeah, cover photo. Okay, everything's in sync. Yeah, it's going back to December 17th now. It wiped out a whole bunch of posts. That's good. Let's do it again and see if we can get rid of like things that are like, you know, shares. But these are tagged when I'm tagged in things. And, and these are cover photos. So those are different that you're gonna to have to wipe out manually, but it seems like the batch, there is a specific batch deleting. So I did about a month. Let's try to do more now. Let's continue. So that worked. So let's see if we can do a little bit more refining. Activity log. And we're gonna go right into manage activity. 
So account activity that you're tagged in. So can can we now like if we've been tagged and we want to stop the cookie trail of people that have tagged us in things? It looks like yeah, Kirk Booth mentioned tagged, tagged, tagged. Let's see. Let's see if we can get rid of these tags. Start cleaning those out and. Let's go back again to like, you know, the to the beginning of December-ish. Okay, so it's going way back. And I'm just going to go all. So there's like 40 of them. And I'm going to now go to, at the bottom here, 40. And you can see that in the center. Remove tags. This action. Boom, let's do it. Confirm password. Ah. Okay, so now we wait. And it's taking a bit. And it go, went all the way back to October 26th. Wow, t getting rid of tags. You know, the tagging thing is how they build relationships, you know, in social and online. So if you really want to, like, stop the, you know, tagging, you're going to have to go all the way back. And it looks like you just got to scroll, scroll, scroll with your thumb, scroll, scroll, scroll. And just you want to really get rid of these things February. So I'm doing every single time someone commented about me in their own feed back to like the beginning of 2019. So all of 2020, I'm going to go all tags, 180, remove tags, remove. And it's doing it, removing it because people have tagged us, right? So this is how we can control it and not be associated with our social account and clean. Like I got to be doing this all the way back to 2009. So, you know, spend a nice evening and do these up and you'll be in a lot better state. Let's go back to um, categories and see the kind of category. So we got all, that's kind of good, all posts and comments and photos you're tagged in. So I'm just going to do all, okay? And it's just mentioned and this and they mentioned me, you know, all the way back 2019 and posts. So I, but the posts are different, it appears. So because I know I've done more posts in 2020, so you better be careful. So posts and comments, filters. Interesting. It's let's go back to the beginning. So let's go um, manage activity and go your posts. So it's activity you're tagged in or interactions because our post is totally different so we're going to have to it looks like manually delete like ones that you've added to your header slideshow and I, I just keep one and delete all the rest of the images in your header so December 2017 so this is good all the posts you've been sharing everything that we've been sharing I think it's just a matter that we just keep going back and I'm just sitting here with my phone at my desk in my office and I'm just scrolling up with my my right thumb, <laughs> you know, and waiting for it to load. And it looks like, you know, maybe you can get faster load load times, but this does not work. This You do not see these check marks on a tablet. You need a phone to do this. You can't do this on a computer either. So that's really a big takeaway for this video that you're going to need this and just have patience. And I mean, if you're really into cleaning yourself up and cleaning all these posts and, you know, uh, getting rid of your digital... Uh, footprint, that's really what it is, um, then this is what you got to do. And you just got to take time and keep going back on and on. So all the way back to November 2nd. So uh, I'm just going to keep going here. And then I will hit the delete button. And away we go. I just want to go back just a bit further. So October 18th. Okay, that's great. That's That's what I'll deal. And I'll go click all here at the top left again and get them to select all 160 and I go trash sure trash it I mean like really this isn't it isn't stuff that I want like it's gone I don't want to be reminded especially of 2020 <laughs> and that's not even a joke guys and lastly again you got to keep going down keep going down say and then once you're down there and I'm like in 2019 you got to scroll all the way up with your left finger and go back up all the way to the top and go all I got 250 posts for a year. That's kind of fascinating. You've reached a limit of items that can be selected at one time. Ah, oh, there's a there's a there's a cap. So I wonder. So let's let's just take a look down. 200. Let's see where 250 ended. Ah, check it out. So let's go and look here. Don't waste your time going back too far. So June, June 8th of 2020 to June. So October. So June, July, August, September, October. So five months. Only do four or five months at a time and you won't waste your time going back further thinking you can select more than 250. So do about four months at a time and then go and go bottom right, trash. That's a wicked, wicked tip. 
So that'll help you not think you can go all the way back to, to, to the beginning of your Facebook history that allow you, but you would have wasted it. So only four months at a time, 250 posts at a time, it seems to be relative and you should be good to go. And you got to do it again. Let's see all. So let's see if it remembered my, uh, how far back I went prior. Let's see. Did it remember? Oh, it did. Yay. So once it's preloaded, that's pretty good to know. You can just continue to do 250 at a time, go trash. So you can, and it'll keep it. So I do about a year at a time and then, and then it'll delete them. Then it'll bring back the ones you preloaded and you just go again, all, and it'll grab the next 250 and the next 250. And then you'll be able to keep on deleting things without having to wait for them to preload. I guess it's pulling from Facebook's database into your cell phone viewer here. And then again, I'll do another 250. 220, I guess. Oh, look at that. So I got it. Moved to trash. And I just wiped out all of my 220 posts. Nothing. That's really good. It feels good. <laughs> Considering what a year 2020 was, we don't really want to leave that version of ourselves out there. Because things live longer than vampires, don't it, when it comes to posting online. Um, again, play with these settings all in here. This is where it is. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And um, please check out these other two videos. They might be of interest to you too, since they're social media related. Thank you very much. And I hope you appreciated this, the time I took to help you since that other plugin doesn't seem to be working anymore with Facebook. They've got a workaround where they can't actually organize and delete based on years with that plugin for your browser. Again, thank you very much. And I'll see you in another video.